Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this will be an interesting video. Um, something a bit new, uh, axis rotation. Uh, so at the moment my work coordinate system is set to the centre of the top of that piece of stock. It's just an old piece of scrap. Uh, it's not rotated at the moment. So what we're going to do first is just um, put a nice contour on it and uh, face the top off. Off we go. dramatic or unusual about that, I only took a moment. So we've now got a block that's reasonably square. Uh, so here comes the interesting part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the vise. One, two, three, four. And then I'm quite deliberately, I hope you can see me do this, I'm going to knock it and move it a few degrees. And I'm going to tighten it down again. Two, three. Okay, so now the task is to try and put a chamfer on that edge. So the first thing I'll do is check that my uh, origin is still somewhere vaguely close to the centre of the block. Should be there, I'll jog down a bit. I'm going to probe this, so I'm really just making sure that I haven't uh, moved it so far. Yeah, that I haven't moved it so far <coughs> that the, plot, the probe misses the block altogether. That doesn't look too bad. So I'll switch to the chamfering uh, program. And that should be us ready. First time I've tried this, so if it works I'll be very happy. Here we go. Okay, first task, go and get the probe. And start by probing the top to find out where we've put the top of the block. And now we're going to go and measure the angle. Minus 1.23 degrees. So now we're going to uh, find where the centre is. Now the probe, you won't be able to see it in the video, but the probe is actually moving now in the rotated axis system, so it's 1.23 degrees away from the machine's X and Y. that done, all that remains to do is put the jumper on. Job done, no broken tools. From where I'm standing, that looks like a pretty reasonable chamfer. Let me give it a give it a wipe. Okay, 
okay and I'll hold that up for the camera and see I hope you can see it if that all worked correctly that chamfer should be nice and even all the way around despite the fact that the vise had been deliberately moved and rotated a bit over one but around one and a quarter degrees that looks pretty good to me thanks everyone for watching um, I hope that's of interest this is machine is using my three and I've still got a wee bit to go to uh, test the reliability and usefulness of this but uh, that's a very good start thanks bye only kidding I'm not gone yet I um, thought it'd be interesting to put the um, results under a microscope and see if we can have a closer look I should be able to see from this quite clearly the chamfer it's only half a millimeter 20 thou wide so any lack of correct alignment with the uh, mill axis and you'd be able to see the taper quite clearly that looks fairly parallel to me though so I'm well pleased um, hope you find it interesting it gives you an idea of what you can achieve